Kyle Berkshire, one of the longest drivers in the world. Uh, let's break down his swing and let's see how he generates so much power and hits the ball so far. We'll start with this face on view. First thing I want you to notice is how strong his grip is here. Uh, he's got that left hand way over the top of the grip there. And he's got that right hand under the grip, which is going to help him close that club face uh, at impact. Ball position, you can see he's got it way up in his stance. He's got a very, very wide stance as well. You can see shoulder angle definitely pointed up and head is way behind the golf ball. So one thing Kyle does is he does like a little teeter-totter thing that kind of helps him feel the weight shift that he wants during his swing. So as I start here, you can see he shifts his weight onto his front foot, takes his right foot, his back foot, completely off the ground, and then teeters back. And as he teeters back, that's when he starts to bring the club back. All right. Now, a couple things with these long drive guys. You can see that that shaft is already starting to bend a little bit the reason that is is because these long drive guys they use longer drivers they're like 48 inches instead of the 45 or whatever that is standard these days and they also don't use extra stiff shafts that's probably a regular flex shaft and the reason they do that is because it helps with the actual whipping of the golf club as it comes into impact so that's why you see it already starting to bend. He's probably using a regular flex here. As he starts back here, you can see he starts to shift his weight back into that back leg. Uh, he actually doesn't have a lot of sway, really. Um, he, he, he does that teeter-totter thing here, but as he goes back, he really doesn't, let's stop it right there. He really doesn't sway backwards a ton. He has some, but you can see he pivots right around that back leg. All right, continuing back, he's got that left arm just completely straight at the top here. He goes well past parallel. I mean, he's still going backwards. And then I want you to watch, his. the club is actually still going backwards as he starts his squat. You can see his, his, his rear end is starting to dip as he starts to squat. And that club is way over here. All right, he's already starting the downswing. And that, again, is going to help tremendously with lag and whipping that club into, into the impact zone. And then I also want you to take a look at, look at the massive, I mean massive shoulder turn that he gets. Uh, just incredible. And then one last thing, you can see he does pick up this front foot, the heel comes off the ground and he's got this front leg severely bent here, taking all the weight that he can off of that front leg. Now into the downswing, again, he, he squats really quite a bit as he starts to shift that weight back, that left heel slams down on the ground. He's shifting his weight back into that front leg. And then he's trying really hard to swing up on this golf ball. You can see his hips are already moving up off the ground here. And off that back foot, pretty good there. And then again, as he comes down, he basically hops off the ground. You can see his left foot is completely off the ground at this point. And head well behind the golf ball swinging up on the golf ball at, and look at that left foot. It's just completely airborne at this point as he makes contact. And then he hops, it actually hops backwards kind of towards the stands back there. And then somehow on his follow through, he is still ridiculously balanced. I mean, look, you can see the club, look at that torque and bend that it has there as it hits his back. He's swinging so, so hard. Again, that's probably a regular flex, uh, driver shaft let's take a look at a down the line of kyle berkshire okay so down the line uh you can see he because that shaft is a regular flex most likely his his big miss is probably a big fade so one of the things he does to combat that is he's got that very strong grip we went over in the first view and he's got this inside to out 
aim point with his feet that are going to help with that inside to out swing path. Another thing I want you to notice is look how high he's got this ball teed up. All right, that's because, and again, in the last view I showed you, he basically hops off the ground um, with that left foot. So he's swinging so much up on the golf ball that he has to tee it up like almost a whole ball above the top of the driver head. So let's get into the backswing here. You can see he's trying to get as much length in the backswing. So he stands way up as he brings this golf club back. He brings it well inside, trying to get as tall as he can. That way on the downswing, he can squat down quite a bit. Look at that. I want, I want to put a circle around his head for you guys. So there's his head. As he starts back, he stands way up. And then as he goes back down, look at where that club head is here. That's ridiculous. And that club shaft as well, just right, just it's pointing at the ground like over here. It's crazy. So then again, as he, as he starts his downswing, look how much his head drops back down. As he comes into impact, he's in the, relatively the same spot he was when he started. A lot of movement with his body there. You can see up and then down and then back up. So as far as the club path, he, like I said, he brings it well back inside. You can't really see the club face here. Um, as he gets to the top, big kind of chicken wing action going here with his right arm. But again, that left arm it stays straight throughout the entire backswing. And then again, as, you, as he's... You can see he's still going backwards as he starts his squat to get into the front, get into the downswing. And then as he squats down, you can see those calves activating. He's whipping that club down inside. And then that ball takes off straight away this way. But look how much off the ground he is on this back foot. He's on the very tippy toes on this back foot. And then, again, I want you to watch this front foot. As he makes contact, it just hops off the ground and slides way back. That's where it started. This is where it ended up. That's crazy. Pretty good little impact position, though, here. Look at, I mean, just head behind the golf ball. Takes off super high. Just absolute massive power, big recoil, dude hits at a mile.